Kansas State heads to Baylor. And I, I'm going to tell you, Baylor being a two-and-a-half-point favorite kind of surprised me a little bit. I know they've played well. I know they won, like, what, three in a row? Uh, but Baylor, by two-and-a-half here, uh, the total sits at 53 at 7 p.m. Eastern time on FS1. Let's pull it up on the screen. I got Kansas State favored. I, I was I was a little shocked. Um, the road team in this matchup is 6-0 and o against the spread uh, in the last six. Kansas State 36-13-2 and two the last 51 after a straight-up loss. They certainly bounced back well. Uh, but they are 1-4-2 and two against the number on the road against the team with a winning record. Uh, Baylor, I mean, Dave Aranda is just fantastic. 9-2 uh, and two against the spread of their last 11 at home. They are 16-6 and six against the spread in their last 22 games overall. Let's look at the numbers. Let's see what the numbers tell us. Baylor's offense... Uh, they're okay passing the ball. They're not super explosive, number 86 as far as passing explosiveness, but they don't allow havoc, number 22 in that rate. They're number 9 in passing success rate. They're number 17 in PPA per pass. The Kansas State defense is okay. Not great at causing havoc. They're number 103. Um, the the thing that Baylor likes to do the most is run the football, right? Number 13 in that spot there. It's over over 61%, uh, getting closer to 62 there, uh, when you look at at Kansas State's defense, they are they are pretty good as far as standard down PPA and standard down success rate. If they can stay ahead of the chains over Baylor, they can do some really fun things here. They if they can get stops, I think that's the easiest way to put it, which is so cliche, typical, whatever you want to call it. It may just the the normal stuff. I think Kansas State's defense can have success here because I don't think that Baylor trusts Blake Shapin to be able to throw the ball down the field or, I guess, maybe his decision. I don't know exactly what it is, why they don't want to throw the football, uh, even though the numbers over the past five weeks have been pretty good, as you can see here. The Baylor defense, Kansas State with uh, with Will Howard in the ballgame has been pretty good, and even with Adrian Martinez, they are throwing it a little bit more than they were at the beginning of the season. The Kansas State rushing numbers are not great, right? Rushing success rate, uh, number 105 over the past five weeks. Number 106 in PPA per rush. Uh, but they are still, you know, pretty explosive. Number 67 in that spot. The Baylor defense is number 80. Baylor's defense is number 107 in rushing success rate allowed and number 93 in PPA per rush. There is a distinct advantage for Kansas State in this spot. Not only with that, but when they do have to throw the football, they're number four in PPA per pass. They are number two in passing explosiveness, which, by the way, Baylor is number 103 in that. Baylor allows big plays. They just do. And by allowing those big plays, you got guys like, you know, Deuce Vaughn and uh, Adrian Martinez, et cetera, on the other side. I think they will be able to take advantage of them. And that's why I was surprised that they were, they were and I guess I shouldn't be because they're at home. But Kansas State looks like the clear side here. I know everybody wants to talk about Adrian Martinez. But, you know, I'll, uh, the fumble that he had uh, against Texas, etc. But you look at their overall turnover margin numbers, number 13 in giveaways per game. Uh, they're num- that's number 78 uh, for Baylor as far as giveaways per game. Like, this is a spot that I really feel strongly about Kansas State in. I might I might put a little pizza money on this. But, uh, but Kansas State is the side that I'm going to take here. Uh, I like Baylor and I like Dave Aranda and what they're doing, but this just looks like a a mismatch to me as far as what these teams do well. Uh, give me Chris Kleiman and the bunch. Uh, I like Kansas State plus two and a half. I think they can win the game outright. Uh, or not can win. I think they will win the game outright just based on what I'm looking at. So, yeah, give me Kansas State plus two and a half on this one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show. <laughs>